What is going on guys? It's your boy Death Gun with a brand new Destiny 2 video. I'm going to be showing you guys my Titan builds for the game. We're going to be looking at my builds for Crucible, my builds for just, you know, going around and doing my daily missions, and my raiding builds. So without further ado, let's get right on to it. Alright, before we keep going, I'm going to tell you guys this. Destiny by no means offers an incredible variety of armors, weapons with different perks. It's fairly common everything you know the perks are usually the same most armor is only cosmetics and everyone has the same weapons but it's a matter of the small things you know whether you put your points whether it's movement resilience or recovery and what weapons you use what mods do they speed up your abilities do they help you balance your weapons you know the little things matter and those little things make some players sets different from others so here I'm gonna show you guys my personal sets for like I said crucible rating and just general activity so let's get to it alright first off we're gonna be taking a look at my crucible gear when it comes to stats I'm focusing on resilience and recovery mobility is not on my mind seeing as the only thing it works on is movement speed and maximum jump height and believe me that's not really that important when it comes to crucible you want to be focusing on how fast you can regain lost health and how much damage you can take before dying now while it's not the biggest difference it might be an extra dot of damage it will help you in a battle when it comes to armor I'm rocking the iron banner set why because I love the way it looks and like I told you guys when it comes to destiny armor doesn't really make a big difference it's just there for the looks at least so far now when it comes to mods like I told you guys I'm focusing on resilience and recovery so for that those are the mods I'm rocking my current stats sit at 2 mobility 7 resilience and 7 recovery they can and will get better when it comes to my arms I have an energy uh, reload mod equipped but I will be changing that hopefully for a recovery mod so it goes up to 8 then I will be set to go. Here's how my armor pieces are looking. If you have the Iron Banner set as a Titan, it's very good, by no means the best. You can definitely mix and match until you get something incredible, but this is what I like rocking. When it comes to my exotic, the Crest of Alphalupi is by far the best exotic, in my personal opinion, so far when it comes to Crucible. Why? It helps you get in and out of battles quicker. Not only does the barrier already offer an incredible benefit in blocking off, you know, access points or helping you out in an intense moment, but the healing you receive when you put up a barricade is very good. It is not over time, you just heal a little bit, I mean, not a little bit, you heal a decent portion of your health on one shot, and you can get into a fight quicker, you know, very good. This is the rest of my gear when it comes to armor. Now, when it comes to weapons, this is usually the set I'm rocking. I'm going with the Forward Path from Iron Banner. Very good auto rifle. Very, very good. You can check out the perks here. I'll go over them real quick. I will not talk over them. You can check out tons of YouTubers when it comes to reviews on these weapons. But these are top of the line cruisable weapons. The Last Hope for my sidearm. Very, very good sidearm. I do have two other ones that I use just as much because a lot of people complain about this one and I know for a fact eventually they're gonna do something to it so I have two other ones that I use just as much as this bad boy when it comes to my heavy rockets top of the line curtain call why simple velocity I love the velocity on this thing it's way faster than most of the things out there and it does the job on top of that it has the perk uh, that creates cluster bombs upon detonation this is by far my favorite set but I also go with vigilance wing Uriel's gift and curtain call this is my second most used set the only thing that changes here is when I go to uh, trials of the nine I will be switching out to my Mita multi-tool and either using Uriel's gift for mid to long range maps and if it's a close range map last hope and that about covers my pvp armor and weapons there are many other weapons out there that are good 
Matter of fact, right now I'm trying to get one myself, a submachine gun, the Antelope D, which is top of the line right now. But right now, this is what I'm going with. Last but not least is my subclass. I'm using the Striker. In my opinion, is the best subclass when it comes to Titans and PvP. Now, for grenades, I'm using the Pulse Grenade and switching between the Lightning Grenade. Why? Because I'm pretty sure they're going to nerf the Pulse Grenade because a lot of players are complaining about it. Me, personally, I don't think it's a big deal. It's just that people don't seem to be able to get out of it in time due to its big area of effect. Now, Barricade, obviously the big one, Towering Barricade. Jump, I've always been a high lift type of player. High type of player, so, you know, that's what I go with. I'm also using Code of the Earth Shaker. Why? Simple. Magnitude. You gain an additional grenade. It's amazing for PvP, especially when you chain it up with this in, in small corridors, small maps. Lightning grenade. With this, you'll take out an entire group without a problem. This is my build for my subclass on my Titan, guys. Now that you know my full build on PvP, I hope to see you guys in the crucible. Now, for my weapons, I'm rocking the Nameless Midnight Scout Rifle as a primary. Very awesome stats, very good perks, specifically the Explosive Payload perk, and the main reason everybody's using this right now. Very good perk. Now, for my energy weapon, for close combat, I like going with the Mob Justice. Very good for taking out shields and all around clearing, you know, mobs. Now, for my heavy, I like the started back sword. This is very good for almost any content. And this is the set I usually take on strikes, heroics, you know, events, anything of the sorts, up to the raid. There's minor changes to the set in the raid, but we'll touch that in a minute. But like I said, this is my usual you know regular set for any content that's out there pve regardless that's not specific now let's take a look at my pve and hard content you know set you could say not much changes but let's take a look at it all right for my harder content or raid set not much has changed when it comes to armor my exotic changed to the Crest of Alpha Lupi, but my armor remains the same. The Devastation Complex set still focusing on, you know, Arc subclass abilities. When it comes to weapons, I'm rocking the Better Devil's Hand Cannon, seeing as it still has the very good and useful perk, Explosive Payload, but offers a higher impact than the Nameless Midnight. Now, for my secondary, I'm using the Conspirator Raid Rifle. Why? I like the extra range it provides. I like the auto rifle, you know, feature to it in full auto mode. And overall, it's a very good weapon. And when it comes to heavy, I'm rocking my Merciless. Very good weapon. Now, that's pretty much it. If my striker subclass does not change, except in the raid encounter, I do use Rally Barricade in the boss fight, as we all know, so we can, you know shoot rockets and all our weapons faster but that's pretty much it guys now quick details as to other things i'm rocking the number two shell which helps me generate gunsmith telemetry on solar weapon kills and arc weapon kills so very good for you know whatever it is that you're rocking you know mm, and yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to my weapons my clan has all the bonuses to them you can see them there and yeah, guys, that's pretty much all there is to my PvP and PvE loadouts. Now, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you have some pointers to give me. I hope I have given you some pointers. And yeah, guys, let's hope some content gets released because I am bored as hell. So without further ado, your boy Death Gun, out.